Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Gemini for the week of October 3rd through the 9th of 2022. Nice to see everyone again. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up and a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed. Thank you very much for doing that as well as the ones who have left comments. Thank you. It is greatly appreciated from all. All right, and on that, I will see what the cards have in store for you, Gemini. The first card out is the Five of Rods competition. Feeling like you need to prove yourself in some form, whether it's a job, Friendship, feeling competitive over something. And this could be maybe feeling competitive in a relationship for some. And the King of Pentacles, so an earth sign. Well, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They're very uh, strategic. They like things to be done in certain ways. They're good with bank accounts. This could be you talking to somebody about uh, your money circumstances, maybe trying to make some investments for your future going forward. And the Nine of Swords, so all up in your head over something that was said or done or perhaps something you said or done to someone else. Maybe there's a contract that needs to be signed for others. You know, for others, again, this could be you needing to talk to somebody. Maybe something was said and, you know, you didn't say it at the time. You didn't really answer the question and now you're losing sleep over it. So you're up in your head about how to go back and handle this. And the five of pentacles. So most definitely feeling a little bit out of sorts. Maybe feeling that people aren't really understanding or appreciating you. You know, going forward, you're just sort of going with the motions. You're not feeling like, you know, you're getting the advice or the help that you really need. So you're thinking of, you know, moving forward into a different direction for yourself. And the Ace of Cups. So good news coming in. New beginnings. You know, stuff is starting to overflow. It could be, you know, uh, in a job, in a relationship, in a friendship. You know, things are just coming together in all aspects of your life. In some cases, this could be love as well. But, you know, don't don't get colorblind with this, this card in some cases. You know, because it's smoke and mirrors. It's not quite all that you're, you're thinking it is. But it is being handed to you. Some sort of gift. It's just that you need to work out exactly what that gift might cost and the judgment all right so justice now this could be in a court case a divorce settlement some sort of legal contract for others maybe you're finalizing and signing some documents this week to do with you know an inheritance as well it doesn't always have to be a separation or a divorce you know, some sort of project. Maybe uh, you have to sign a new release for um, where you're living. In other cases, you know, you get a bonus when you start a new job. So you have to sign a legal document saying, I will work for you for a year, that sort of thing. And for others, this could be uh, a settlement of some kind, some sort of old debt that's been owed to you, some sort of old account that needs to be, you know, finished and over with so that you can go forward in the future and the knight of cups all right so new beginning of some sort coming in some sort of offer um, this is usually an offer of travel well whether you're taking it or somebody's offering it to you for others this could be uh, the offer of a new beginning in a, uh, a fresh new relationship you know, something totally unexpected. And the Ten of Swords. So some sort of betrayal. 
stab in the back, somebody's let you down and you've now become aware of it. Or maybe you've always really had a hunch about what was going on, but no tangible um, goods to prove it. So you're feeling like you're stabbed in the back. It's over, it's done, it's finished. There's no returning from this. And you're well aware of that. You know, you've suffered some sort of loss for others. Um, you're just going to move forward. You're going to take the swords out of your back. You realize what's all happened now. And you want to go forward in a more upbeat note. And you don't want to be bringing this back up in the future. And the temptress. So mixing elements together, new beginnings, things beginning to happen. You know, people, places and things. You're starting to feel good about yourself, your health, what you bring to the table. You're harmonizing with others now. You just, you feel better about yourself, so you're getting along. It shows on the outside as well as the inside. People are starting to notice you. For others of you, perhaps it could be um, a friend or a relative that has you haven't spoken to for quite some time, and... and uh, you're going to pick up the phone and just talk to them. Maybe there's something that needs to be settled. And the Seven of Swords. So protecting your good name, standing up for yourself, knowing what's right and what's wrong. Not going to take it anymore from just, you know, anybody's attitude. You know what you're willing to accept. You know that, you know, you need to protect yourself and get going forward on your own two feet. You know, watch what you say. Don't give out too much information. You're learning to keep, you know, your your lips buttoned so that you don't let too much out so people can't use it against you in the future. And the Four of Cups. All right. So there is an offer coming in. You know, you're a little bit jaded and bored here. You're wondering if this is all there is now to life going forward. You know, you're, you're content. You have enough. You realize that. But you're just a little bored this week. You know, it is coming fall. So we all get that feeling. And the seven of pentacles. So you've put hard work into something. A lot of labor, a lot of love went into something. Going forward, you're just waiting for it to grow and go forward for you. So you're uh, just waiting patiently, as patiently as you can, for things to turn around in the direction that you want them to go. And the devil card. So you're trying to figure out ways to cut ties. You know, let things go. Things that didn't agree with you, whether it's a job or a relationship, friendship, that sort of thing. Because you're realizing that it's actually holding you back. From what you really want to do so it's it's time that you discover where your boundaries are and put them forth to everybody else so that they know where they are so that they don't step on their toes or your toes you're not just going to accept things you're going to make people realize that you have worth and they will respect you ah oh, and the tower yeah most definitely standing your ground cutting your ties, realizing that, you know, all that effort and what you put forward into a relationship or a job or a friendship wasn't really true, which is very hard to swallow sometimes. But you're going to pick up the pieces, move yourself forward. You know, in some cases, you're going to let go of this um part of your life altogether and some of you are just going to cut ties with friends relatives even places that you live maybe you'll just totally move to a different town you know in order to get a fresh start on you that people don't know you and can't judge you getting rid of your past letting it go you realize that you know this is your wake-up call you're starting to see the light realizing where people actually appreciate you or don't appreciate you And the six of rods. So, you know, standing up for yourself, realizing that, you know, you're rewarding yourself, you're moving forward, things are going on. You're not afraid to, you know, 
say, I did a good job, I did the best I could, that sort of answers to people. Not that you have to, but sometimes, you know, it's good to toot your own horn just a little bit. It's not gloating, it's letting them realize where you started in life and how far you truly have come to better, better yourself and them in most cases. And that's what you're going to get across to a lot of people this week. And the King of Swords. So there you go. You know, stand in your ground. Swords are air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this is your own self coming into the picture here. You know, you're not going to mix words this week. You're going to, you know, lay your cards on the table. You're going to put people where they should be put with a kind heart and way of doing it. But you're going to say your piece. You're going to, you know, let people realize that you know, I've done this for these reasons and you don't get to judge me in any other way. All right, Gemini, I'm going to pick you and shuffle you an angel oracle card and see what other clarity you can get for your week going forward. But you're definitely finished with something in your life and you're going to go forward in your own direction here and you're going to let people realize you know what you've put up with what you've put out there and what you're willing to accept your desired outcome will occur in the very near future have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Oh, well, there you go. All right, Gemini. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.